Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another throwback review. Ugh. Thanks Gordon, you're the man. Today we're talking about Half-Life 1. Now Half-Life Alex came out recently and really set the VR space on fire and gave some much needed fan service to the long-term fans of the franchise while also introducing a lot of new players to the Half-Life universe. And it got me thinking a lot of the people playing Half-Life Alex were not even born when the original Half-Life came out and maybe even not when Half-Life 2 came out. Crazy. You know, um, I myself was a little bit young for Half-Life when it came out. I was nine years old. I, I just think I was too young and I was not uh, really doing much PC gaming at the time and I think it was just too hard and scary and intense for me at the time. So. Over the years, I've played tiny bits of Half-Life 1 and 2, but I figured, you know what? It is long overdue. I need to play through Half-Life. Such a revolutionary game, such just a classic, just an essential game I, I feel like it, that everybody should experience. I wanted to finally see what all the hype was about. I want to see what happens. What is the story about? I know Gordon Freeman is some like super cool scientist hero with a crowbar who shoots aliens, but that's all I knew. Uh, so I decided to dive in and see how it holds up today. How does it hold up today more than two decades later? Is it still worth playing? Is it a clunky piece of garbage? Is it all right? Actually, it is amazing. I was completely blown away. I was completely sucked into the game and I enjoyed every minute of it. It definitely holds up today and it is a must play. So here's my review. So like I say, in Half-Life you play as Gordon Freeman, the scientist who comes in to work on some experiments in this lab called Black Mesa. Uh, it's more than just a lab, it's this whole big scientific research center and well something goes terribly wrong and a portal is opened up letting all kinds of grotesque alien creatures into our world as we know it the lab goes crazy aliens are all over the place turning people into zombies and killing everybody and you take up the task to put an end to it to stop this invasion do what you need to do to shut everything down and save everybody, save yourself at least, because the way it's looking, uh, everybody's going down. So yeah, you're gonna find yourself navigating your way through this science research lab, wh whatever, this big old base that is Black Mesa. You're gonna be navigating your way around this complex, multiple buildings, there's some outdoor areas as well. Uh, and you're just gonna be fighting for your life the whole way you're trying to find you know how to get from one end of this complex to another when it's full of aliens and if you thought those were scary wait until you meet some bad people who have impeccable aim and powerful weapons and you're a one-man wrecking crew going up against hundreds or maybe thousands of bad guys it's crazy Gordon Freeman, how do you do it, man? You don't look like anything special, but that is a pretty cool looking HEV suit that you wear. If I ever go cosplaying, I think I'm gonna be Gordon Freeman. I'm gonna lose like 50 pounds. I, I think I could pull it off. Give me a few years. Anyways, super cool. You have a variety of weapons. Of course, your handy dandy crowbar. You have handguns, shotgun, machine gun. It also has like a grenade launcher attachment to it uh, a bunch of very cool weapons that you get later on in the game and I don't want to spoil anything I'm not gonna tell you about what happens later in the game or with the story but you have a lot of different weapons to discover and use throughout the game you have some really cool alien weapons too that you get later on it is a very very intense gripping game a very cool story and just the atmosphere the atmosphere is what really does it and you might say, yeah, the game looks outdated. The graphics are, you know, more than 20 years old. But you forget about 
how outdated the game looks you totally forget about it you get so immersed in this world in this atmosphere that they, they've created and that has a lot to do with the sound design as well you're hearing all these creepy alien noises when people are nearby and There's always gunshots going off and it's like around every corner there's going to be a bad guy or two or three or a dozen and you're going to be on the edge of your seat. I was certainly on the edge of my seat. I had a few really good jump scares. There are some dark areas. You have a flashlight but it's, it's intense. It is intense. Yeah, it, it can be quite terrifying even as old as this game is and it's not a horror game by any means it's a sci-fi action shooter but man it, it can really be terrifying when it wants to be so don't discredit the game by how old it is or how it, how it looks graphic wise you know it's really impressive that Valve has continued to provide updates for this game as of this time the last update was in November of 2019 more than two decades out after its release, they're still patching the game for compatibility with new hardware and new, soft, uh, new operating systems and whatnot. That is some love, that is some dedication. So, of course the original game was, you know, low definition, it was a 4x3 aspect ratio, and of course now you can play a widescreen. I was playing in 1080p and it looked great. You know, it, I, I didn't care at all about the low polygons, the two decade old graphics with the you know the higher resolution and the widescreen support it looked great and like I say I was fully immersed in this thing it only took me 22 years but I can say I am a huge fan of this game now of course this is a single player only experience um, they later ported the game to PS2 which had like a split screen a separate separate uh, co-op campaign and of course there are tons of mods out there the mods have always been huge. If you recall, Counter-Strike started out as a mod for Half-Life. Crazy, right? But yeah, tons of mods and expansion packs out there as well. And there's a, like the multiplayer standalone, which is a different, different release. But really, you want to play this game for the amazing single-player campaign, which is really all the game is out, out of the box. Or there's no box now, but you know what I'm talking about. You buy this game on Steam, it's just a single player campaign and that is all. But there are tons of mods available, that's what I'm trying to say. Both commercially and for free. So yeah, what else can I say? I, I'm i sure I'm leaving out tons of things I should be talking about, but my mind was blown 22 years later and this game is still incredible. I was on the edge of my seat the whole time, it feels great. You know, the movement is very fluid and fast, the the way the levels are designed, everything's crafted so brilliantly, so pretty much flawlessly. There were a couple of points where I, I got a little bit lost, or I wasn't quite sure how to get past something, but for the most part it was very straightforward and I was able to find my way and I had a really good time just finding my way. In a lot of games I tend to lose patience nowadays. Maybe I'm just trying to rush through it to review it, but this game I took my time and I enjoyed every bit of it even when I got in a tough firefight and I died several times or I missed a platform, I missed a step and fell in a pit of acid or something and I had to restart over and over again. I was okay with that and I was also saving my game every like few minutes every time I got past the hard part, save, but um, I was completely floored by this game, how good it is today. After 22 years, I'm almost ready to hop into Half-Life 2, but I'm giving myself a little bit of a break. I have some other videos lined up. I will come back to Half-Life 2 shortly, and yeah, I can't wait to see what's next, what's in the future for this series. I think they were testing the waters a bit with Half-Life Alex see if there's still a big kind of desire for for an, another Half-Life game, another single player experience. And judging by the success of Half-Life Alex, I think it's only a matter of time before we see Half-Life 3, 
we're gonna see some really cool stuff we're, we're coming up on that next generation hardware and i hope i hope we see something soon just give me a little bit of time to play through half-life 2 and get caught up but uh yeah i'm blown away 22 years later it's you know half-life 1 is every bit worth playing it's every bit still as satisfying and exciting as it was back then at least i think so super good guys check it out if you haven't already half-life one he won't be disappointed anyways if you like this video i hope you'll hit that subscribe button so you can see more content that'll help me out a lot and uh, help me make more of this stuff for you and uh, if you like the video give it a like and leave me a comment leave me your thoughts uh, say hi, whatever you want to do. Just thank you so much for your time, and I uh, will see you on the next video.